Oh, man, I hate Mondays. Nah, man, it's Tuesday. Wait, 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 what day is it? You know what day it is. Tuesday. Bruce Day Tuesday. Oh, fuck yeah! It's time for Bruce Day Tuesday. Brought to you by the Cellar and Six Pack Store. Here is Drez and Huck. It is indeed Bruce Day Tuesday, and as Matt Anthony just alluded to, brought to you by the Cellar Six Pack uh, Store and Restaurant. Cellar, how do I always mess that up? I need to write it down. The, uh, the Cellar Restaurant and Six Pack Store which is right there in the heart of downtown Blacksburg. You been down there lately, Huck? Oh, yeah, I get there all the time. I know that these beers uh, did not come from there because they are from a foreign land, yeah, uh, a state yeah. over. I get there all the time. I mean, I like to eat there. Well, you can just walk there. Right, That's, I, I mean, like, there. if I had that sort of convenience, I mean, that would be my spot. So not I, only for I, the beers, buying the beers, but also the food. Well, I go to my morning constitutional to the post office, and I walk through the parking lot to the post office, and I come back down Main Street. And sometimes Mikey will run out and say, hey, Huck, we got a new beer you want to try. So that, that's always good. Good old Mikey. Mikey will hook uh, me up. So, yeah, uh, big yep. ups to those guys. And, of course, big ups to you, Huck, for bringing the beer once again. We got a couple more uh, leftovers from your PA trip. Yeah, I, don't, I, I just went to that bottle shop, you know, similar to the cellar, and got some beers and brought them back. So I had enough to do two shows, so... We don't have to talk about Pennsylvania, but we can certainly talk about some Pennsylvania beer a little bit. Well, yeah, well, at least talk about the beer and uh, get the get it out there since, you know, I just poured it in my glass. Hoodoo! It's the Indian Pale Ale IPA uh, from Voodoo Brewery, which I hear the name Voodoo Brewery. I would think that's from, like, New Orleans or something, you know, down, well, the down last, there. The last one I was at was in San Francisco, and that's why that one caught my eye because the one in San Francisco is very good. They didn't have any bottles to go, but... They had all draft beer. And it was called Voodoo Brewery. Yeah, the other one of there's just called, a bunch of like, yeah, how, how is that? How does that allow? Like, well, this one's Voodoo Brewery. The other one is like Voodoo Three or something. That had something else in the name. Yeah, they got to have something. Yeah, to so they, separate them. Yeah, but you know, it's not everybody's a you know what hole. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, true. you know, it's not everybody sees everybody. But well, the but problem, a lot of people do. Yeah, but the problem is, is like if what if you're not the. Well, I guess then you're still yeah okay yeah I mean if you if I mean, you're I'm there not, first supposedly you know you get to keep it. Yeah, it no, annoys me on beer names because you look up certain beer names, and there's like fifty of them because nobody's suing anybody. But then you look up some—I won't even say—but you look up some, and everybody's suing everybody, and there's yeah. only one of that beer. Well, and the thing, and I mean, beer names is one thing, but the actual name of the company—I could, I, I would be a little bit more territorial about that. But a beer name, I mean, yeah, come on, those are coming and going. That's like, that's like in the in the music business, like, oh, your your song is called uh, Ghosts. I can't have that. Literally, I'm playing like four songs right now in currents that are the songs called Ghost. It's crazy. But, right. You know, but so, do they still sue and win? No. No. You don't do that. No. People sue each other too damn much in this country. Well, you know, if the music, if the notes are the same. Well, yeah, that's different. That's different. That's different. different. I don't know like how they can tell. the name it, of the song. You know, it seems, seems like there's a lot of that. And then the beer, you know, that's the other thing. You can make any. I make people's beer all the time. But you're not trying to profit off of it, are you? Well, I'd love to, but no. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's I where I think, that that's, where, I think that's where it would become an issue. Yeah. So this Voodoo Brewery is uh, it says the owner, employee owners have taken our brewing experiences and quirky personalities and wrapped into a line of beers. I don't know if that's quirky or not. It tastes a little. I feel like I'm getting a, a note of quirkiness. Quirkiness. Okay. <laughs> and then on the uh, back end, <laughs> and they're, they're you know. So their their website has not got a lot of information about it, but they have uh, they have two locations. It looks like Meadville, Pennsylvania. Me- Meadville. Yeah, eh? they should be making mead. Yeah, in the I'm down on that. Oh wait, three in the comp. Oh yeah, they got like a bunch, man. They're all over the place. So they're kind I of can, a little train. Train. I can dig on some mead, man. Oh, here we go. Then they have the food do page. Food do. So here's the thing that we didn't talk about in Pennsylvania. You will get really fat up there if you go there because everything is like wonderfully buttered bread they make and dip into thick cheese sauces sign me up yeah that's pretty much all you can do beer cheese and bread and beer it's just nothing but carbs i love it so they went a little far on trying to look that up well what are you drinking i don't even uh this one is the mortals key brewing company it has a thing it looks kind of like a you know medieval key thing maybe even a person kind of and uh, they they were established in 2016, and uh, it said they they represent the belief that in each of us 
exists a destiny waiting to be unlocked. <coughs> Mine's laying at the beach. <laughs> yeah. Well, I saw the back side of the can. I noticed it does have the uh, independent label on there. Does it? Yeah. Like, yeah uh, keep there turning. Go, there, there it is. That's yeah. So know. this is a this is an IPA and make with Columbus. And these guys are out of Jamestown, Pennsylvania. Yeah, mine said, uh, what is this? Meadville. Oh, yeah, yeah Meadville. All yeah, right. you were talking about That Meadville. must be where they make the stuff. This is uh, just barely a Huck Session, 7.1. Same here. Uh, Huck Session at 7.3%. There you the go. The hoodoo. It's like Not unusually, we have even, we're evenly matched beer wise tonight. Uh, it will be the same in the next round? I don't know. I think not, because mm-hmm. one's a double IPA and one's not. Then there you go. <laughs> there you go. That's <laughs> enough information. So uh, Enough said. Well, actually, speaking of enough said, I think we actually might be good enough. To, you want to go ahead and let's untap these, and then uh, I want to hear about, you went to, you just recently went to the beach or something, yeah, right? Yeah, last week it was like beautiful weather. It's going to be 85 degrees, and I didn't have that much work to do. I have nobody that I didn't do any work for hears this. Mm-hmm. But I just said, called her, emailed everybody, and said, something came up, and it was the sun. It was the beach. <laughs> it was the sun. <laughs> and the waves. And, and the waves. And the tide. And it was great. Yeah, the waves are big. People were surfing. Right. Well, I, we'll talk about that in here in a little bit. Let's untap these beers, and by untap these beers, what do you mean? We're, we're referring to the Untapped app, which is a handy-dandy free app you can download to your phone. Drez Drinks is my handle. Huck's Beer Buzz is his. You can be our friends. Yeah. And toast the drinks friends. that we're drinking right now. Friend me. Friend us. And, uh, and of course, you check in beers. You Main reason I like to use it is just to kind of look back and see, hey, did I like this beer? Should I buy this? Should I Have I tried this before? You can leave a little rating, a little comment. And uh, it's just a nice little app. And, of course, we... Uh, Utilize it on the show by checking in the beers, man. Have you had enough taste of that IPA, or you've been talking more? I can go first if you want. No, I'm good. I, I was just, uh, I was just reading about it. It's, these, these people, are, you know, they're pretty laid back. It's like IPA style beer. That's the name of it. It's not. That's just it. But yeah, there, there you go. The mortal's, mortal's key. It's really in the style of traditional IPA. Before we had East Coast, West Coast. It's like nice amber color. It's got. Hops in the front, hops in the back. A good dose of bitterness, but not to the point of of hurting me. Yeah. Yeah, five, four and a half. It's good oh, beer. You, oh, you almost said I almost four said and a half. Another thing. Yeah. This um, is a good beer. I'm along this. I, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling, literally, as you were reading that, I was like, yes, same for my beer. Yes, same for my beer. This is just an all-around good hoppy beer. I will say, I think I might got a leg up on you lacing-wise, yeah, though. Lace, lace Lacing is beautiful on this hoodoo from Voodoo. Um I wouldn't be surprised if this is like their flagship because this is just a damn good beer. Um, I don't want to read the whole side of the label, but uh, but yeah, man, the notes are great. It's got the hoppiness that you're looking for. If you're a craft beer lover, chances are you're a fan of IPAs, and chances are you'll be a fan of this beer, man. This is a good. Either this one. This might these. even be a four seven five. Either I'm, one of these. I'm gonna one up you. Four seventy five. I'm gonna one up you. Yeah, well, dude. You know, is, it looks it looks better. But also, maybe I'm just really thirsty today. Mm. <laughs> and this is in the spot. It was a long weekend. So mm-hmm. uh, there you go. Hoodoo Brewdoo. Uh, so hoodoo the store Voodoo. was Beerport. Yeah, Beerport. Yeah, we were talking about that last last time we were talking about Pittsburgh, and I couldn't remember the name of it. Beerport. It Beerport. Getting a little plug there. If you're in there. Pittsburgh, go there. Go to the Beerport. All right. Well, what we'll do is we'll play a little ditty. We'll come back and drink some more PA beers. I don't think you've ever played a little ditty. You always play songs. This is, this is, what's the difference? <laughs> I don't, a little ditty. Tell me the like, difference, Huck. Sounds like somebody's going to be doing a jig, and it's in like oh, four I, verses. Well, I usually do a jig. I'll do a jig during this one. Okay, How about that? Okay, fair enough. <laughs> All right, I'm going to play me a little ditty. I'll do a little <laughs> jig, and we'll come back and have a couple more on Bruce Day Tuesday. Stick around. <laughs> 